tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Well, I got started. I was toying around with the idea of uh, going on a live stream, basically for my own sanity, for one. And also at the same time, since we're all locked down at home and are, we're separate from each other earlier on in the pandemic, um, and when we couldn't go out at all, I decided to reach out to certain people via messenger. And I decided there's got to be a better way to do this. So I said, okay, let's, let's, let's try live streaming. So I was toying with the idea until I finally came up with the format. And uh, my live stream um, every night, well, I've modified it now because every night is very difficult to sustain. But uh, my, my, my show is called Welcome to the Story So Far. And I considered it as my proof of life. So the whole idea of my show is basically I'm talking to you about my day, whatever it is I'm going through that day, whatever it is I'm thinking of that day, whether it be a good day or a bad day. And I only had... I only had two rules that I wanted, two promises I made myself about my show. I would keep it as real as possible. And what I mean as possible is I didn't want to mention any names if I was specifically angry at an issue. Um, I would not, I didn't want to mention specific names or be too specific. Instead, I would rather um, talk about how it made me feel or how it's affecting me because I don't, I don't want to contribute to the toxicity out there, even if I was having a bad day. So I would try to keep it hopeful, as hopeful as possible. And my second promise to myself is that I would be as honest as I possibly could. And so when I sit down for my, you know, sometimes it's 20 minutes, sometimes it's 30 minutes, sometimes it's 10 minutes. When I sit down here under my red light um, for welcome to the story so far, I never know what I'm going to say. I never know what topic I'm going to be touching about on. Um, sometimes I'm thinking of one thing and then it takes on a life of its own and then it goes where it goes. But the one thing I do try to do is I try to keep it hopeful. Even if it's been a bad day, you know, and we all have bad days, I try to find a reason to smile for that day, a reason to hang on to hope perhaps. And nice. knowing that even if I have a bad day today, tomorrow you can try and make it a better day. And that's what I try to do. I love those insights. Jimmy. They can call me Badui for all I care. But once no. I started, no, no. But once I started playing music, once that I started playing tracks, that was not on Spotify, that was not on YouTube. Then they started getting, "Ooh, where did you get that?" And then the other artists, no man, getting wind of the platform, started giving me songs that are not. Nice published that are not recorded so facebook cannot cut me <laughs> facebook cannot cut me facebook cannot cut me nye, 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 nye. Okay. well so, i try i try to connect with i mean we're all going through the same thing it's just that a matter of like you know um i always try to give hope to people i always try to make them think that yeah you know we, we are going to get through this together and it's very important that we help each other out and we keep on checking on each other because during this pandemic, we're all worried about certain things, um, you know, the economy, uh, finding work, paying the bills and all that. But a lot of people also are seeing signs of anxiety. So I yeah. don't want to be that angry voice at night um, just complaining. I don't want to be that, that person just, you know, uh, questioning things. Although I do question things. I do have my bad days. And sometimes it echoes other people's bad days as well. But I just try to try to give people hope and my magic number when i look at you know i mean inevitably because you look at your views how many people have viewed you how many comments do you have and i told myself very very early on is that the magic number for me is one if i can reach that one person out there who needs to hear for some reason what i have to say that night then i've done my job i love those terms Jamie. real connections valuable connections human connections the yeah. kind of interaction that we are all longing for. Well, going and, into digital had its challenges, right? but then now, since uh, a lot, we have uh, what they call now multi-platform events, uh, where it's a combination of live and streaming, um, we, they have ba bands are playing now, DJs are playing now, parties are actually happening now, but virtual parties. The, 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 the good thing That's about good. this is Before. that we have, we have actually the world the world already generalizing the world yeah. 
has now discovered so many things, uh, be it uh, in the the workplace, in 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 the in the, in the, in the realm of uh, inter inter in, interpersonal uh, connections, yes. that uh, made us realize that. Um, the world really, the world really can function, can still function. But yes. our ignorance was basically due to the fact that we did not go out of our way to truly explore the technology that, that we have already present. So, ang nangyari, parang we were just, you know, putting it aside, back burner, oh, sige, oh, may internet, okay lang, sige na, may internet. Kasi ang internet sa atin, Facebook, Facebook, social media yun lang it was not yeah. it was not used for the greater purpose diba for the greater stay tuned for the next episode only here on Z81 radio manila